breaking this from Los Angeles. Hi, Steve. So tell us more about the allegations and why the victim chose to come forward now. Well, Savannah, the allegations are horrific. And if you include not only Sean Diddy Combs, but his associates, this is actually the third lawsuit in as much time levied against Combs and his... Her ...accuses the media mogul of creating a pattern of control and... ...that she alleges began soon after they met in two... You and Diddy, right? What was the issue between both of y'all that made y'all fall out? We fell out because I call it the, a breach of contract, the same way he said the liquor company breached the contract. It seems Diddy is about to break under the weight of the lawsuits and scandals that have been mounted against him in recent months. Sean Diddy Combs, who these days goes by the name Love or Brother Love, has been embroiled in a series of lawsuits that are about to leave him crippled financially. From being accused of S.A. by his former girlfriend to being accused of participating in unconsensual activities by another lady, it looks like Diddy's ultimate downfall is nearer than we might think. In this video, we delve into the saga of Diddy's financial woes and the mounting scandals that have led him to the brink of financial crisis. The last four weeks have been a serious mess for Diddy, even if the music mogul wouldn't admit that. Moving from one S.A. lawsuit to another, he ended up in yet another. But the last straw that would break the camel's back would be his ousting from his brainchild, Revolt TV. It seems all the walls are closing in on him. On November 16th, Cassie, an ex-girlfriend, filed a lawsuit accusing the hip-hop mainstay of S.A. and a decade-long pattern of maltreatment that began when she was 19 years old. The R&B singer, who was once signed to Diddy's label, Bad Boy Records, alleges S.A., a legal movement of women, and gender-motivated things, among other actions. Yo, Cassie, tomorrow, I want you to shave the side of your head. And I was like... 24 hours after the filing of the lawsuit, reports emerged that Diddy had settled the matter amicably with an undisclosed amount in settlement payment, which means no trial was held. Now, a report is making the rounds that Diddy allegedly paid over $100 million for the settlement. This new report is gaining momentum for two reasons. One is that Diddy's decision to settle the lawsuit amicably without wanting to defend himself and his image in court was a sign that he might not be innocent of the allegations levied against him by Cassie, although he claimed to be. Quoting Ben Braffman, an attorney for Diddy, Just so we're clear, a decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Mr. Combs' decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. But their actions imply the opposite. The second reason is that in the wake of the settlement, Diddy seemed to be on the verge of a financial crisis. However, the alleged outrageous settlement fee is far from being the only catalyst for Diddy's downfall. Right after Cassie's lawsuit, four other ladies stepped out and filed a slew of lawsuits against Diddy, all S.A. accusations. One of the accusers, Joy Dickerson, said she was a 19-year-old student at Syracuse University when she agreed to meet Diddy at a restaurant in Harlem in 1991. After their date, Diddy intentionally put something in her drink, then brought her home and made his way with her, according to the filing. Without her knowledge, Diddy videotaped the incident and later shared it with several friends in the music industry, the suit alleged. The public exposure sent Dickerson into a tailspin, contributing to severe depression that landed her in the hospital and forced her to drop out of college, the lawsuit claimed. On the same day as Dickerson's suit, an anonymous woman, Jane Doe, also sued Diddy alleging he and the R&B singer, Aaron Hall, had taken turns making their way with her and a friend at Hall's apartment in 1991. While at Hall's apartment, Jane Doe was offered more drinks and was coerced into sleeping with Combs, the lawsuit claimed. Accuser is a Jane Doe um, and filed it in federal court today. And it goes back to, her allegation goes back to 2003. And she says she was 17 years old at, at the time, but tells a very detailed, um, really harrowing story of meeting uh, first the president of Bad Boy Records. She also claimed in her suit that Diddy later visited her after the alleged incident and choked her over fears that her friend might tell his then-girlfriend about their encounter. 
It seems 50 Cent had already anticipated the lawsuits. In a now-deleted Instagram post, the G-Unit rapper responded to the news of Diddy settling his lawsuit with Cassie. He paid that money real quick. Should have done that before the sharks saw the blood in the water. And here they come. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Every woman he puts his hands on. The consequence of these lawsuits, all claiming SA, hasn't turned out well for Diddy. And there's still the possibility of worse things to come for the music mogul. Several companies have severed ties with Diddy. Corporations wield power and expect appropriate behavior from their associates. Accusations of SA and beatings will see big companies pull away and disassociate themselves from people caught in that web. And Diddy is currently caught in the web. One of those companies is Macy's. Since 2010, Diddy's fashion brand, Sean John, has had an exclusive distribution deal with the American retail giant, stating that the department store would be the sole distributor of the brand at a retail and online level. After more than a decade in partnership, however, Macy's revealed it was in the process of phasing out the brand on November 22nd. While Macy's didn't specifically state that its phasing out was in relation to Cassie's lawsuit, the timing was too perfect to be coincidental. Also, the allegations of SA have led to Diddy stepping down or being ousted from his position as chairman of Revolt TV, his media company, on November 28. Diddy first launched the media and digital cable network alongside Andy Schoen in October 2013. Meanwhile, TMZ reports the reduced role is only temporary, but only time will tell. Oriented Network appears to be distancing themselves from him, saying, while Mr. Combs has previously had no operational or day-to-day -day role in the business, this decision helps to ensure that Revolt remains steadfastly focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture, amplify the voices of all black people. What's more, Capital Preparatory Charter Schools announced on November 28 that they were ending their partnership with Diddy. In 2016, Diddy helped launch the Harlem location of Capital Preparatory Schools and donated $1 million in 2021 to its Bronx location. On November 28, the school announced its decision to sever ties with the entrepreneur amid ongoing allegations and legal issues. According to a statement from the founder and head of the Schools for Capital Preparatory, Dr. Steve Perry, the decision to end the partnership was made after a thorough evaluation. Following a comprehensive evaluation, a decision has been made to end the partnership between Capital Preparatory Schools and Sean Combs. While this decision was not made lightly, we firmly believe it is in the best interest of our organization's health and future, the statement read. That's not all. Alcoholic drinks giant Diego, which owns Red Stripe in Jamaica, has ended its 15-year partnership with Diddy, citing the allegations. Before, the liquor company was involved in a protracted legal battle with Diddy over the accusation of racism. In May 2023, Diddy accused the company of pigeonholing De Leon and Ciroc, the vodka he branded for 15 years as black brands for urban customers, allegedly violating an equal treatment provision in their contract. In a subsequent October complaint, Diddy alleged that Diego had blackballed him from the spirit industry over his racial discrimination claims. The company has been working towards removing Diddy as the face of the brand, and now they see this situation as an opportunity to drop him. In court documents, Diego wrote, The new public and disturbing accusations against him risk devastating and permanent damage to the tequila brand. Now, business experts are weighing in on Diddy's issue fearing that his $1 billion empire could be crumbling before his eyes. President of the risk management company, reputation doctor Mike Paul, said Combs' business associates would be doing a risk assessment equation to decide, is he worth holding on to for the risk of our relationship with other providers? He added, the higher you are, the harder you fall. Harvey Weinstein was a very successful businessman, the most successful businessman in Hollywood. And then the truth came out, and now look at where he's at. Meanwhile, immediately following the fourth filing, the rapper aggressively rejected all the charges brought against him by several women on his Twitter page. According to Diddy, individuals looking for a quick payday were behind the sickening allegations meant to ruin his name. He wrote, Enough is enough. For the past couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to destroy my reputation and legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. 
However, a lot has been damaged, and his speaking out now may not be able to do much. Now he has a lot of fights to claim. As far as we know, there is no active criminal investigation against Diddy at this time. However, the internet is abuzz with speculation that it's only a matter of time before justice will be served. While commenting on posts referencing his situation, social media users are now including the phrase, Surviving Diddy, an apparent reference to the Lifetime docuseries, Surviving R. Kelly, which featured accounts of the women who accused the R&B artist of verbal abuse over several decades. Kelly is serving time in prison for multiple crime convictions. So what do you think is next for Diddy? Will he be able to bounce back from these scandals? Or will his reputation be irrevocably damaged? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future updates. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to check out our other videos to stay up to date on Diddy Scandals.